Hey, how are you doing guys? Today we're going to talk about timers in Tasker. Uh, we do have two actions available, I'm aware of it. There is a, a wait and wait until available as an action. It takes a bit of a CPU usage when you execute it, you cannot cancel it easily. So I'll show you a better way to set uh, timers in Tasker and it's going to be presented to you in two profiles one of which has been sent to me as a request in email. The guy was asking to um, create the profile uh, to cancel actually window in incognito mode on your mobile device uh, when you're no longer using this device. So I'll show you how to achieve this. So if you've been, you know, browsing for something naughty and you forgot to uh, close out the tab and your mobile doesn't have a lock screen, uh, you certainly can do it with a tasker. And the second profile is just an update on the Wi-Fi auto off I've made earlier and it disconnects uh, the Wi-Fi after five minutes of not being connected to anything. So let's uh, have a look. As usual, we're going to start by creating a profile. So in this time, a profile time context and we're going to click on variable and set the variable which is Wi-Fi timer. The same variable has to go from n to 2 uh, slot uh, as uh, it's going to act as an event. So let's set that and create a new task. Just name your task whatever you want and we will uh, go into turn off the Wi-Fi as this is the task responsible for doing so. So find your Wi-Fi option and set it to off. We also know that uh, once the Wi-Fi is disabled we no longer going to need this value in the variable Wi-Fi timer. So I'm just going to go uh, set the variable, like click variables and uh, clear the variable Wi-Fi timer. Right, this is all done. Uh, feel free to rename your uh, profile as well. So this is just turn off Wi-Fi. We want this uh, profile to run whenever Wi-Fi is no longer connected. So let's go and find net condition and just reverse it to make sure it's trigger when it's not connected and link it to a new task and the task name is going to be not connected Wi-Fi. In this task we're going to set a variable. The variable value will be current time plus 300 seconds. So the current time in seconds that variable is available as a system variable and so our Wi-Fi timer will equal to times, which is current time in seconds, plus 300. 300 seconds is five minutes. And select um, do math. This way you'll receive the value in seconds, which is five minutes ahead. The biggest advantage of this method, instead of wait or wait until, is that we can cancel it at any given time easily, or we can just reschedule it. The next action is to convert this uh, unit of seconds into something more readable so we're using a variable convert and uh, convert seconds to time date time we're going to set this into local variable we want this to be local because it will be automatically deleted when it's no longer needed and i'll just uh, use the name of uh, wi-fi termination that local variable has been created because we're going to create a notification and notification will tell us at what time uh, our Wi-Fi will disconnect. So if you're doing something specific, you will know when your Wi-Fi will be disconnected. So in title, just put something in like your, your Wi-Fi will disconnect shortly and in title expanded, put uh, the same thing or whatever you want as well. And in the text of the message, uh, we going to put some text and we're going to put that local variable Wi-Fi terminated, which will display the time of um, the timestamp that we're going to use to terminate uh, our Wi-Fi. To keep things simple for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to copy and paste the same text. Uh, if you want to create a fancy notification, obviously you are free to do so. If you're not creating the notification, however, and you want uh, this profile to run in the background, it's very simple. You literally have uh, just few actions to carry on. Uh, to show you how it works and for troubleshooting, and obviously we're creating this with notifications. 
So quickly I'm just gonna copy and paste the same uh, text to the text expanded and we'll be nearly ready with our notification. The next thing you want to set up is uh, probably ID for this notification because uh, when we're going to issue an action to cancel this notification, we're going to simply use the ID. So ID for this notification is 11. In the uh, next part, I'm going to set up two icons, one for the status bar, one for the notification itself. But I'm just going to zip through it on the video because you're probably aware by now how to do it and you don't need to watch this. So once the notification is created, uh, this is all we needed for this task itself. So the next step, uh, what we have to do is add another condition. Uh, we want this profile only to run when the Wi-Fi is actually uh, active. Uh, otherwise, it might trigger when you um, just disable it while, while using AirPlay mode. So you can use the uh, variable uh, Wi-Fi and this variable has two states on and off. So I'm just going to put that Wi-Fi equals on and everything works. So why exactly we're doing it? Uh, mostly because when the Wi-Fi isn't on, it, the status itself of the Wi-Fi is also uh, not connected and the profile might trigger. Lastly, we're going to create an exit task. Exit task, again, very simple. All we have to do is uh, clear our um, variable, variable, uh, which was it, Wi-Fi timer. And also we want to cancel a notification because at that time we will have a notification present in our status bar with ID 11. There is another scenario when we want to make sure these two things will happen. So when our variable Wi-Fi timer will be canceled and when we want to make sure that our notification is canceled as well. So I'm just going to copy those two steps and go to turn off Wi-Fi profile. And as you can see, we already placed the variable clear. So I'm just going to play, uh, paste what I've copied and remove variable clear again, because that was the same really action. So right now we're gonna end up with additional auto notification cancel. And as usual, the last step of everything, when everything has been done, is just renaming the profile so you could export it, share it, or back it up. And that's it. Whenever you're not connected, your Wi-Fi will disconnect after five minutes. Let's have a look at Chrome incognito mode. As usual, I'm going to open a new project and we'll start in exactly the same way. We're going to add a time context and we're going to put the variables in both from and to position. And this time I'm gonna name it Chrome Timer. So I'm just copy this across uh, so it would work as an event. Once this is done, we want to create a new task. So whenever uh, this time is activated, we want to kill the Chrome. We're going to kill entire app because there is no way of terminating incognito mode unless you go with auto input and I don't want to uh, introduce more plugins into this profile. However, if you kill the Chrome app, your normal tabs will be preserved and you can reload them easily. However, your incognito browsing history will be gone. So to do this, we're going to use root and we're going to use a uh, uh, run um, shell command and the uh, command is am for stop and then application which is com.android.chrome. This will close our Chrome incognito mode. And in similar manner to before, we're going to clear the variable Chrome timer. Now we have to decide when this is gonna run. So the most likely scenario is our phone is on the desk for some time, the screen is already off and uh, our Chrome incognito mode is on. So screen off, it's a very easy condition. We're going to use it. So display status off and that's our condition. We're going to create a new task and in the same manner as previously, we're going to use a set variable and our Chrome timer will be set uh, to a current time in seconds plus, oh, let's say 300. So we're gonna set it to five minutes. So if the display is off after five minutes, our Chrome will terminate and there will be no hint that we've been browsing anything at all. So you do this by selecting system variable times plus 300 and select do maths. 
So this is done. And uh, right, we don't want that to happen each time the screen is off. We want this to happen when our Chrome incognito mode is on. And this is where auto notification intercept comes into. There is an option to uh, find a current notification. So let's open the Chrome application and create an incognito mode. It will uh, create additional uh, notification, which will stay for as long as the incognito mode is open. And also when you click on it, it will allows you to close all the tabs. So if you want to do this uh, this way, you can use auto input if you don't have a root uh, permissions to click on that notification and close the close the tabs uh, from incognito mode. So from this uh, notification, we're going to get the app title and text to make sure it will only uh, work when our Chrome notification incognito message is available. So this is auto, in, uh, auto notification intercept condition set up for us. We're going to add an exit task. And in this task, to be honest, we only gonna clear our variable, which is a Chrome timer. And since this is gonna work in the background, we don't really need any notification for this profile. Uh, so we don't have to create any additional actions or steps and this profile is complete. As usual, the last step is just renaming your profiles. Uh, so you could save it, export it later. I hope I convinced you that this is the best way to set the timers in Tasker. It's flexible. You can do a lot of things with it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. There is a written uh, tutorial as well on pocketables.com in regards to both of the uh, projects. And the project itself, files and detailed description can be also downloaded from notinaptech.com. See you next time. Bye.